we will be covering you know, the paranormal. And we're doing the whole sapphire and steel thing because I'm I'm wearing the blue, right? Yeah. That's really weird. You said sapphire and steel the other day yeah. about us. Yeah. And then on YouTube came up an interview with David McCallum. Oh. Yeah, it was very okay. interesting. A very recent interview about yeah, sapphire and, and steel. And you know, I loved that show. It was another one. So, you know, it's good to know because also the other thing I said to you about, people don't really know you behind the camera because they see you in front of the camera doing your little bits and bobs right they don't really get to know much about mark well the reason for that is um who cares well there's a few I'm people intrigued <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you know who is this man you know with a the couple of videos we have done um the one with um your cat's going mental <laughs> absolutely mental um vamp um vamp. we did i've done a couple of videos where we talk about filmmaking me as a filmmaker um, I'm pretty much an open book, really. I don't, yeah. I don't, but I don't how know. did you how did you get into, like you know, we both have come from different backgrounds. But how did you get into the paranormal? Uh, that was <laughs> through Doctor Who. Was it really? Just, yeah, just Doctor Who, and then sort of came back. And went, oh, I got interested in things that are unknown. Right. Uh, but the real key element was probably that unexplained magazine that I had in the 1980s. Yeah. This large format, really beautifully produced magazine. Yeah. Um, that was sort of the key that really got me into it. And then we did getting out in the field so to speak yeah. was crop circle hunting in the early 90s 